Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this October 14th, 2023. It's being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. Also being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors. Well, over the past week, we had the first real taste of winter for many areas in the Rockies and Central High Plains, the first snow for many. The first real significant heavy snow in the mountains, especially the mountains of Wyoming, Northern Colorado, some of the mountains in northern Utah and Idaho and southwest Montana, even the Black Hills of South Dakota getting into the act. And then there was some very heavy rain that went across portions of Nebraska, eastern areas of Wyoming into the northwest Corn Belt. In fact, near Broken Bow, Nebraska, over five inches of rain with this storm. But fair weather is going to return this weekend into early next week again. So basically, it's a repeating pattern. A midweek storm. Then good weather for the weekend to start the new week. Then the next rain snow chances in the region will arrive around late Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, and then probably fair again by the following weekend. But the long-term trends that we're seeing is for the rest of October into November looks colder. It looks colder. It looks more active in the West. I think the frequency of storms will be going up and temperatures on the whole will be trending down. We still got some nice days coming, but it's certainly looking like a lot more of an active pattern now for the last half of October. Over the last week, a lot of this that you see here does not include wet fell in some areas, but you can see there was a swath of significant moisture over the last week that ridden along the path of this last storm, really bringing some beneficial moisture to Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, parts of Northwest Colorado, the Pacific Northwest getting some needed moisture, even Northern California, only spotty shower activity in the desert Southwest. And that's probably how it's gonna go this upcoming week as well. Temperature wise, well, this is somewhat skewed by the warmth that we had up until the storm. But you can see the coldest weather over the last week was actually in the nation's midsection. The latest drought monitor, now this will be updated next week, and a lot of this area here just picked up a lot of rain, so we'll see some improvement here. But notice the dryness creeping up a little bit into the western slope of Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. So we're going into the fall season there with a little bit of a, some drier conditions, although nothing too bad in, in this area here, but certainly Arizona and New Mexico needs more moisture as well as the southern plains and the central plains, the Pacific Northwest as well, although the Pacific Northwest this area here is headed to some moisture in the next week. This is the forecast for the weekend. A large area of high pressure will build as the jet stream is taking big dips now. This will make for cool, wet weather in New England and the Great Lakes and the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada, while the Western states enjoy sunshine and dry conditions this weekend, probably through Tuesday. But by the middle of the week next week, we have another trough and cold front coming in. So this is Tuesday night and into Wednesday. This area here will see colder temperatures and some rain and snow shower activity towards the middle of next week. Then we'll keep an eye on this system coming in later on about four to five days later. So it's a more active pattern as we go forward here for the next two weeks, the last half of October into early November. Expect a colder, more active weather pattern. That means more opportunities for some fall snows in the higher elevations, cold rain on the plains, and for many of you, your growing season with this last storm system has come to an end. Over the next week, though, the heaviest precipitation will be on the eastern side of the southern plains in the southeastern United States. But you can see this right here. This is with the system coming in towards the middle of next week, while the desert southwest, a lot of California, at least central and southern California, is likely going to be dry. Snowfall, not a lot with this next storm system as it won't be nearly as strong as what just passed through the West. Our next update will be the 21st. Have a good week ahead.